everyone, uh, welcome to another video tutorial from GCSEMapsGuide.com and today we're looking at uh, how to change mixed numbers into improper fraction and vice versa. So we have to do, you have to be able to do it one way and the other. And again this is a great G um, topic um, and uh, needless to say that you need to know how to do this. Alright, now before we get started let me just um, define and explain to you why I, what I mean by mixed numbers and improper fraction. Here's a quick example of a improper fraction. Uh, 40 over, um, let's say, 5. This is an improper fraction because the top number, the numerator, the numerator is larger than the denominator. Okay, so the numerator is larger than the denominator. So this is what a improper fraction is. So whenever you have an improper fraction, what you need to do is be able to turn that into a mixed number. Okay, so that's the rule. If you have an improper fraction, try to simplify it, and we're going to see that in another video, or turn that into a mixed number. Okay, so What's a mixed number anyway? So here the 40 over 5, uh, I can turn that into a mixed number by asking myself four, 5 goes into, uh, well that's not a very good example but um, let's say for instance we had something like um, 16 over 5 and then I could turn that into a mixed number and I'm going to ask myself 5 goes into 15 three times so I write a big whole number and um, the remainder here is um, 1 and the fraction is out of 5 yeah um, so let's go and check how we can do that in more details alright so um, I want to turn I want to turn 5 over 2 which is an improper fraction here into a mixed number so to do that I'm gonna say how many times does 2 go into 5 and we know for a fact 2 go into 5 2 times so I'm gonna write a big 2 now the next thing I'm gonna ask myself is what is the remainder then well 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and to get to 5 I need one more so the remainder is 1 and finally you're gonna write the fraction to be over 2 because here the fraction was 5 over 2 so we're going to write a 2 there and that's your answer pretty easy right um, let's take a look at another one let's say we had um, 7 over 4 and again we know for a fact this is an improper fraction why because the top number is larger than the bottom number and again I'm going to say how many times does 4 go into 7 and here we can only it can only go into seven once, so I'm going to write a big one here. And um, four times one is equal to four, and to make a seven, I need three more, so that's the remainder. And my fraction here was out of four. Okay, good. Well, now let me see if there's um, another one which is a bit a bit more complicated. Um, let's say we had twenty over three, and that one. Uh, again, 3 goes into 20 um, 6 times, so I'm going to write a big 6. The remainder is 2, and my fraction was out of 3. Pretty easy, eh? Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's how you turn an improper fraction into a mixed number. Let's take a look at another example where I'm going to try to turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. So um, should we use the same one so we can see that we've got the right answer? So yes, all right, so 6 and 2 thirds, how can I turn that back into the 20 over 3? It's pretty easy. Look at the 3 which is at the bottom and multiply that with the 6. And we know 6 times 3 is equal to 18. And after doing that, add the top number to it. So 6 times 3 is 18 and 18 plus 2 is equal to 20 so write the 20 here and we can see that the, the fraction here is out of 3 so I'm going to write out of 3 and you can see that this is the same as that one there which is what we wanted 
How would you turn 1 and 9 tenth into an improper fraction? So again, multiply the 10 with the 1 and then add the plus 9. Yeah? So 1 times 10 is equal to 10, plus 9 makes it 19. And here we know the fraction is out of 10. And there you go, there's your answer. Okay, so that's it for today. And uh, if you enjoyed the video again, don't forget to click the like button and share it with your friends. See you later.